Hello, my name is Rahul. Today I am going to show you how to use container view in Mac OS application. I am going to use Xcode 8.1. First, create project. Next, container test. Next, now go to main storyboard. Okay, now in view controller, we are going to use container view okay over here we are going to add in the container okay now we are going to add two buttons okay over here and over here we are going to change their name first is view one this is view 2 okay now we are going to delete this view controller we are not going to use default procedure I am going to show you you can show multiple view controller okay now drag in one view controller we are using two view controllers over here okay now drag in two labels first give view controller a name vc1 and this one is vc2 okay vc2 now drag in two label here is your labels uh, give it a name uh, view one okay make it a little bit bigger okay now drag one more level over here okay make it center okay that is your view two now over here make it center okay now we are going to define two classes okay next we see we see one next not cancel we are not going to create any user interface next we already created that create okay now one more that is your VC2 we are not going to create interface next create okay now go to main storyboard map these two classes to respective view controllers vc1 we gave it already a story id so we are going to give it vc1 okay now for vc2 over here that is your vc2 okay now now go to view over here over this and go to uh, over here sizing we need to make it um, resize properly now over here on second view controller it's not resizing we are going to click over here okay that is your uh, view resizing option in Xcode okay now switch to bottom view okay over here bottom editor you need to use uh, go over here view controller select it now you have the option to select the view controller mean view controller header, fa header file okay over here you are going to drag in two actions first this load view one one that is bigger no okay now connect it 
next load view to okay make it action connect okay now drag in the container view reference over here ui container okay in this container we are going to load all containers view okay first mean i have to connect it okay all these two views will load in this container view okay now we need the reference to these two container views too okay these two one and two okay these two for that we are going to use it's like this okay make header over here for this we are going to import okay vc1 now hash import vc2 okay now vc1 pointer v1 vc2 pointer v2 okay now switch to view controller implement implementation in here we are going to initialize uh, v1 is equal to view, our two view control going to be initialized in this function view did load okay now here self dot storyboard instance initiate view controller controller with identifier okay this one now at the right we have the id that is your vc1 very easy okay now copy this okay paste here make it to easy very easy okay now we initialize our variables view controllers okay now we are going to define two function first void bind to view controller okay here we are going to pass ns view controller pointer target view okay view controller okay not semicolon that is your bracket now we need to go to header okay we are going to declare a ns view controller uh, tracking object okay to track current view controller attached to the main view controller to this view controller ns view controller pointer current controller okay that will track the view that is embedded in the container view okay now over here if current view controller not equal to nil okay then we are going to remove the existing view controller while over here remove view controller okay uh, that is your function make it current view controller add view now remove from super view that will remove the view from the uh, from the um, current view controller that is attached to here okay now current view controller will remove itself remove from parent view controller 
okay first we remove the view then the current controller will remove itself from the parent con view controller okay now we are going to call this here okay self okay now now we are going to add the um, target view controller in the current view controller that is the main view controller okay so self add child view controller that is your target view controller now target view controller dot mm, view dot frame okay is equal to ui container dot frame okay it will set the frame size of the target view controller view okay now we are going to move over here ui view container okay add sub view okay over here we are going to add the target view controller okay target view controller dot view and pass the current view controller is equal to target view controller okay now we are going to use this function self bind to view controller that is your vc1 okay and this will load the self make some space over here okay bind to view controller vc2 okay now okay we did the error okay now it's nearly ready let's check it out okay here it is view 1 view 2 view 1 view 2 okay view 1 view 2 you one you do if you like this video subscribe share with your friend and hit the like button and please subscribe thank you